Hi everyone, happy Saturday, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com on the uh, the night before the Super Bowl and all through the house. 2020 Panini Obsidian Football, three box random division number seven is about to happen. A lot of good stuff here, all cards, it doesn't say, but all cards do ship in this. Big thanks to these folks for getting into it. There are the divisions right there, let's roll it, let's randomize it. Six and a four, ten times for names and divisions. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. All right, six and a four, ten times, ten times, perfect. Christian, down to Clint. Six and a four, ten times for the divisions. One, two, three, four. And 10th and final time, after 10, we've got the AFC West, where my Raiders live, down to the NFC East. All right, Christian with the AFC West, Clint with the NFC West, Christian with the AFC South, AFC East, and NFC North, Karen with the NFC North, Andrew with the AFC North, and Clint with the NFC East. Let's sort this by division. And we're going to pause the... Oh, I don't want to merge these cells. No. I want to box them up, though. There we go. Center it up. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And uh, then we'll have the break. I'm going to go run and grab the boxes. I'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, folks. No trade chatters. No deals were done. It's all good. Thanks for spending a bit of your Saturday night with us the night before the Super Bowl. Everyone be, be safe, healthy, happy. With your Super Bowl festivities tomorrow. No, I do, well, I'll be honest with you guys. I did not lock in an official pick, but when I get home tonight, David, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna lock in a lot of all my prop picks and Super Bowl picks, and I'll share them with you on the break schedule tab, in the uh, or the Joe's picks tab in the break schedule. But I think the side that I'm gonna take is is gonna be um, the side that I'm gonna take is gonna be the Chiefs. It's Todd Gurley. Hopefully it's still at minus three. Todd Gurley, Falcons edition going to the NFC South. That'll be for Christian. Larry Fitzgerald is to 10. NFC West. That will be for Clint. Who do you have, David? Stephen Punk says Tampa Bay 37, Kansas City 21. Wow. I think so. We've got Eruption Relic, Darrington Evans. One, is there, oh, there's number 19 out of 100 AFC South. That'll be for Christian. We've got an Aaron Rodgers, Cutting Edge Relic, two color patch, five out of 10. Nice little number for the NFC North, Karen. Rooting for the Chiefs because of all your Mahomes rookie card investments, says David. I mean, you know, I think that's part of it too. I think it's hashtag, even though they're my divisional rivals, I actually hate the Broncos more, a lot more than the Chiefs. So I don't, so I don't mind supporting them. And listen, I'm sure a lot of people have, have taken a heavy position on, uh, on Patrick Mahomes' uh, rookie card, so I want want something that's hashtag good for the hobby. There's Devin Duvernay, AFC North, Andrew, with that one. That's to 150. And behind Darrell Taylor is Tyler Johnson, 127 out of 150, jersey and autograph. We should see him in the Super Bowl. All right, he should he should be getting some some looks, some targets. To 150. I feel like Tampa Bay, you would take if you, you would try to take at the hook, with the hook. Plus three and a half. I think Teddy, got, hey Teddy, you got, you got Tampa Bay plus three and a half, right? That's, see, that's, that's kind of, I regret not locking it. Teddy Jaspi on the Instagram stream, at Jaspi's Rakes, he got Tampa Bay locked in at plus three and a half. 
So I think that hook might might end up being being crucial. Oh, die cut. Come on, die cut. I feel like I haven't seen this kind of die cut out of Obsidian. But there's Gardner Minshew. Vitreous. 20 out of 2. Looks like a boomerang. Who does everyone have for MVP? That's, this is out of 35. Jaguars, AFC South, Christian. Stephen Punk has Chris Godwin as MVP. Well, it's going to be a quarterback, running back. I mean, it's rarely... There's Malik Harrison. What would be a good long shot MVP? Like, Chris Godwin's easy. Picking Brady or Mahomes, that's easy, right? What's a good long shot uh, MVP guess? Do I need to look at the roster? Mm, yeah, Chad, there's a good one. Jason Pierre-Paul. It would have to be like uh, like someone who's the who's the dude that stops Patrick Mahomes, right? So think about your Tampa Bay defensive line, who are pretty impressive, right? They've got an impressive defensive line. So you're talking about Indomitian Sue, Vita Vea, Jason Pierre-Paul, you know, Devin White. Like if Devin White just goes off, you know, and just sacks Patrick Mahomes a few times and you know, just pressures him all day long and blah, 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 blah. I think, I think that, that could be an interesting long shot pick. There's Joe Mixon to 25. Galaxy Gear. AFC North, Andrew. There's Marshall Falk, 19 out of 50. Atomic Material. NFC West, Rams. That goes to Clint. Shaq Barrett could be an interesting name. Kelsey, I think, is a little chalk, isn't it? I'm, th I'm thinking long shots, j Dog. What, what about a, a longer shot than... And Kelsey. And Kelsey could easily get 15 receptions and 175 yards and three touchdowns. And But even even then, Mahomes would probably take it away from him. I guess how, maybe that's why Kelsey's a long shot. Could be interesting. There's Henry Ruggs III. The uh, speedy receiver for my Raiders going to Christian in the AFC West. Alright, yeah. Maybe, maybe uh, Tyron Matthew could be interesting. There's Keyshawn Vaughn, 34 out of 50. Fournette could be an intro. Ooh, that's, that's a nice, Jones. nice color there. Ronald Jones. Ronald Jones is actually a pretty back. See, but then then you like you have to think about your game narrative narrative too when you're picking your MVPs. Tyron Matthew, that means Mahomes, right? That means you're thinking um, that Kansas City maybe wins. But it's due to their uh, their defense, right? So if Tyron Matthew, you know, gets snags like two or three interceptions off Brady, I need more top loaders here. Two or three interceptions off Brady, you know, maybe one one returns for a key touchdown that helps Kansas City win the game. That's an MVP right there. Ooh, Clyde Edwards Elaire winning would be hashtag good for the hobby. See if Scotty Miller wins, Bill, then it, it would be like it would be like Tampa Bay, you know. It's like 10-10 in the in the fourth quarter with two minutes left. Scores tied at 10. And then Scotty Miller just makes an impossible catch, breaks loose for an 80-yard touchdown to win the game in the dying seconds of the game. There's MVP right there. You gotta, you gotta think about the narrative that, that will get Scotty Miller that MVP, right? Exactly, right, Bill? So that means, because usually if Scotty Miller has a good game and wins it, he couldn't win MVP because that's Tom Brady still throwing him the ball if Miller goes off. But yeah, you want like a, <laughs> you want a weird seven, eight game or something like that going to the fourth quarter. 
And then Scotty Miller makes some miraculous play happen, breaks through a ton of tackles. and You know, maybe by the fourth quarter, Chiefs defense has, has fallen asleep. There's Philip Lindsay to 100. Has fallen asleep on defense. Oh, nice. Christian McCaffrey color blast for the NFC South. Christian and the Panthers. Panthers in the NFC South. People love these color blasts. Who's going to th You think Scotty Miller's going to throw for a touchdown? There's Juju Smith-Schuster to 75, Galaxy Gear. I'd love to see the numbers on that. Someone find a prop on that. Scotty Miller, touchdown, touchdown pass. I'll bet, I'll say it's plus a set. Oh, no, finals is, finals says plus 600 for a player other than the two QBs throwing a pass. All right, I thought it would be a little bit higher. I thought it would be at like plus 1,000. AFC North, Andrew with the juju. We got Freddie Swain, 35 out of 75 right there. Seahawks. That'll be for the NFC West, Clint. Plus 600 feels a little low, but... But I guess with... Uh, with some trick plays, maybe maybe the trick play expectation is a bit higher than I thought. There's Joe Reed for the Bolt, 73 out of 150. Rookie autograph for the AFC West, Christian. And last but not least is, ooh, nice, 47 out of 50, Jalen Hurts. Three color patch autograph. If that Carson Wentz deal actually happens, that's hashtag good for the hobby. And good for the NFC East. Clint Melendez with the NFC East with the Jalen Hurst three-color patch and autograph. R, P, and A. 47 out of 50. And there's Stephon Diggs right here. Can you dig it? And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Obsidian Football. Three box random division break number seven. The final three boxes. The final division break is in the store if you want to run that back. Thanks very much. I'll see you next time for the next break.